Hey everybody, video here for you today. We did Ireland a few days ago. Why don't we talk about a site in Scotland that nobody has really covered, and this is a pretty important site. Now, when this story broke a few days ago, a lot of us covered this. I did in my Ancient History News video, the biggest prehistoric monument in UK discovered near Stonehenge. And that got me thinking. I recall the story that came out about seven years ago. Some of my friends do accuse me of having photographic memory. But this, these pits here in this arc fashion just made me recall a story coming from Scotland. So why don't we go down to Scotland today? This is called the Warren Field down here in northern Scotland. It is near a castle, Warren Field down here. But about 45 years ago, they were doing aerial observation, archaeological observation of the historic sites. And they noticed something in this fields by Cray's Castle. I think that's the name of it. But further work went on to find that they might have found the oldest calendar in the world here, coming from about 10,000 years ago. Right down here, right in this area, right here. Now, the reason why I think it was right down here is because we have some aerial photos from 1976. And this appears to be where it is. There were some pits here in a very slight arc fashion, pits in the ground. But when they did studies on this, they made a pretty remarkable determination on what these were and when they were built. Now here's one of many articles coming from about seven years ago, Mesolithic Time Lords, a monumental hunter-gatherer calendar at Warren Field, Scotland. And here are workers in the field here doing the excavation in 2005. Can give you an idea how far these pits extend here. Here's another story, world's oldest calendar uncovered in Scottish field. Here is a look at the image here of where these pits are in alignment with the phases of the moon. As they extend out, these pits get a little smaller, but they believe these are aligned with the lunar year. There are calibrations that have to be made, so there is some sophistication put into this. But it says here, while we take calendars for granted these days, the inventions, the systems that track time stands as one of humanity's most monumental achievements. In more ways than one, long before written calendars emerged, monuments were used to measure time. Now a crude but working calendar discovered in Warrenfield, Scotland, suggests that these time measuring monuments may have been developed much earlier than previously thought. Archaeologists believe Warrenfield calendar was created by hunter-gatherers around 8,000 BC. And they were talking about hunter-gatherers at Gobekli Tepe around 8,000 BC, but uh, all the finds in that area of the world, I don't think they were so much hunter-gatherers. Is it true in this area of the world? Well, that's up for further speculation and research, I guess, but here's the alignment of these pits in the ground, and they think there was maybe wood placed in these, but I guess we can't dismiss the possibility that there was stones in here at one time, I guess. This is a story that came out seven years ago and kind of been forgotten, it seems to me, but it says Professor Vince Gaffney standing at Warren Field, site of the world's oldest known calendar. And there is a video attached here, so let's play a little over a minute from this and I will leave the link below. And we were excavating up in the corner of what is now an agricultural field, a series of pits which amazingly were dated to the early Mesolithic, um, which was absolutely incredible. The, the site at Warren Field is extremely important in British archaeology and in fact it is one of the most important sites in northwestern archaeology overall. It represents a time when, when people became concerned with anticipating, measuring time and in some ways represents the start of history. It's constructed of a series of pits in a, in a general arc currently 12 in number and these seem to represent in the way that they're structured the phases of the moon it goes from uh, from waxing to gibbous full and back to waning again in a, in a general arc the number of the pits suggests that they correspond to the lunar months um, over a year 12 in total however because the lunar 
year does not correspond with the natural year, the, this, the, this, this sequence has to be calibrated annually in order to keep the seasons in line. And what the site does, it seems to align upon the midwinter um, sunrise, the solstice, um, in December, every, so that every year the, 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 the calendar was effectively calibrated and started again and kept good time. I remember wanting to do a story on this when I lived in Minnesota back in 2013. But here is one story from 2017, world's oldest lunar calendar discovered in Scottish Field. Here are those pits. Here's the lunar alignment in these pits. The green area shows where they had to be recut to be calibrated. Here is where the sunrise came up in this notch between the peaks here. But this is a pretty interesting story. 10,000 years ago, a calendar cutting the ground here who was doing this it's a pretty cool story now i talked about how the sun was tracked in ancient times and i've also talked about how the moon was tracked some cultures thought the moon was even more special because it's shown in the day and the night here's a bone fragment coming from 30,000 years ago and people researching this think it shows the waning of the moon moon cycles here Obvious question to me now, are these pits found in the arc formation around Durrington Walls near Stonehenge? Do they have anything to do with the original function of these pits found in an arc formation 10,000 years old here in Scotland based on important alignments to the moon or sunrise dates? Well, I wonder. Once again, that is the winter solstice sunrise right there. They seem to be tracking the moon in Scotland 10,000 years ago. Right down here, also in this field, I noticed something that appears to be, maybe could be, ancient pits right down here. I don't know if they've excavated or done survey work under this whole field. But that is pretty interesting, coming from Scotland, a calendar that appears to be coming from about 8,000 BC, same time Gobekli Tepe was buried 10,000 years ago. Hope you thought that was cool. You all have. Very nice.